We are cutting the ribbon downtown at Stylish Salvage, a new location. And I believe, did I say 101 South Main, Sherry, is that, that right? That is correct. That is correct. But mostly what I've told people is the former Jack's Newsstand location. And for some reason, that works a lot better. So uh, we are overjoyed that you've moved uptown, just a, a block away from our office. So hopefully we can be frequent visitors. And uh, to get the official welcome, we have the uh, mayor, the Honorable Dennis Ramsey, who has a few memories of this being Jack's <laughs> Newsstand. And so, Ma Mr. Mayor, if you will, give us an official downtown welcome. Yeah, I'm showing my age when I was there. Remember this building? Or the I doubt it. Oh, it wasn't. It was Jack's newsstand for okay. a while when I was a kid. Okay, but it was Jack's Thank newsstand you. for a long time when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> this place and the one and across the street before it moved over here. But congratulations again. Uh, and to me, this is one of the more I think historic buildings in downtown Hope, and it and it's as it reminds us of the past. What what more applicable than a business that uh, uses things from the past? And uh, in fact, Tim and I were having a discussion a while ago about some bookcases, that some stacked bookcases, I think, would uh, look really good in someone's home. So, <laughs> congratulations again. We're glad to have you downtown uh, at a busy intersection that, that when Am Amtrak comes in, it's going to become even more busy. So, uh, again, congratulations and a happy holiday season to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and uh, Sherry, standing by. Do you have the scissors or does Tim have them? You do? Okay, well, we're going to let you go ahead and cut the ribbon, then we're going to get a little bit of background about uh, things. All right, thank you very much. Let's talk a little bit about Stylish Salvage. Now, we tend to think that you have a lot of antiques and collectibles down here, but you rework things also, right? That's right. That's right. Uh, that the whole idea about <laughs> antiques and junk teaks is that we need to recycle. And a lot of the stuff from the past is of higher quality than what we can find today and so it makes a lot of sense to reuse it in whatever way be it the same way or to turn it into something different is there one particular media you like to work with wood i love to work with wood i love power tools and cutting on things <laughs> and she still has all her fingers that's impressive uh when are you open at stylish savage tuesday through saturday 10 to 4. Uh, sometimes we get here a little early and sometimes we stay a little late. just depends on what's happening around us. Well, very good. We wish you a lot of luck. Thank you for being part of the Chamber of Commerce. And we wish you a lot of luck in your new location right here across from the Hope Vista Center, the depot downtown. We wish you a lot of luck and look forward to many years, hopefully as long as Jack's new stand here at Stylish Salvage. Thank you, and we're quite excited being across from the depot because we've already had a lot of tourists come in, and we hope that we can be somewhat of an ambassador for the city. And that's why I think it's important to have a good business in this location. For that very reason, you help bring people. You're a bridge to bring them to the rest of downtown. Thank Thank you very much and congratulations, Sherry. Thank you. We're cutting the ribbon at Stylish Salvage, 101 West 2nd in the old Jackson Newsstand building.